Airtags was released a year ago in 2021 and after a year I finally decided to get myself one. Yes, I got myself an Airtag even though it has been in the media for so many bad things such as tracking people to their home, stalking people and even stealing stuff from people. But if you put away the controversy with the ear tag, you have to admit the ear tags was a technology that we didn't ask for but one we needed. Waiting over here to get yourself one saves you couple dollars because when it first came out it cost 29 US dollars. But when I got myself one in July 2022, I got it for 24 dollars. Currently at the time I'm recording this video you can also get yourself 4 of these ear tags for 99 US dollars. You also save yourself a few software issues which cause other people to track you without you even knowing until it's too late. Sometime way too late. In this video I'll be going over everything you need to know about the ear tags, such as how to set up your ear tag, how to use your ear tag, accessories for the ear tags and also share my personal experience so far using the ear tag as a first time user. And most importantly, I will show you what to do if you find an unknown ear tag on you. Timestamps and links to everything that I talk about in this video will be in the description. So if you see something that sparks your interest, then feel free to check it out. Alright, let's start off with the unboxing of the Apple Ear Tag. Inside the box we got three booklets right here, one talking about the Apple One here limited warranty, the next one talking about safety and angling and the next one talking about the regularity compliance information. So as you guys know around here we don't read manuals so let's set that to the side. And in the packaging right here you get a few instructions. So you get one update to the latest iOS or iPadOS. Turn on Bluetooth, then pull the tab, which I did already. Um, and two, you should hold near device and follow on screen instruction. And it also tells you in different, different language. So it is saying you should hold it around two inches away from your phone like that. And right here you can see you should turn on the Bluetooth icon. So it is actually working by Bluetooth and not by Wi-Fi. So really nice right there. And on the back you get like where it was made and where it was printed. On the front you got a nice ear tag sign. So really nice packaging. Um, I'm not really surprised of the good packaging because it is Apple. Um, I'm pretty sure half the price is about the packaging. So yeah, on the box really nice ear tag up front. Um, it talks about what you need to use it and all those fancy stuff now let's see if this actually is the same size of what is shown on the front here so yeah it is kind of the same size like yeah probably the same size but right away you can see this is really shiny right here guys which is really nice all right guys so this is how you set up your ear tag so take your ear tag and place it right on the side around there 
and it should connect come up like that and it should say connect right there so just go ahead and hit connect and you can name it whatever you want for me i'm going to name it keys and those your information right there hit agree and it's now it's setting up give it some time to set up real quick and you hear that chime right away you can use it in the find my app you can hit done and you can view it in the find my app you can also play a sound you can do position finding you can notify when it's left behind and all different stuff like that so let's hit done for now and let's go on over in the find my app and show you the features it have now inside the find my app when you go inside the find my app so let's go inside the find my app you go over to items and you should see your ear tag right there so you can click on it you can see where it is you can play a sound yep you can stop playing the sound you can do like notifications you can say notify when it's left behind you can turn it on if you want you can do lost mode to enable lost mode so you know that hey my keys are lost let's enable lost mode you can also rename it to whatever you want so for me i could let it say daniel keys or could i just say keys and hit done but hey, let's say like tesla keys because you guys know i'm driving a tesla so tesla keys click on it you can also change the icon so let's do a lightning for the tesla and where it is there it is let's do that for now and hit done pretty nice and easy uh, what else we can do what else we can do we can do the left behind feature i'm going to enable the lost mode right now let's hit enable let's hit continue you can put in your email address or your phone number once a person find this they will see your phone number so let me put in my phone number real quick it next um so notify when it's found summary so basically you can't change anything right here but it's it in lost mode right now so just hit activate and it is enabled now so you can always go back and just turn it off whenever you feel like just like that and you're out of lost mode you can also do find which is which does like the precision finding so it's searching for signal so now it is saying it's here because it's right here so i'm gonna go off far away and try to find it using this precision finding feature you can also play the sound if you don't see it even though it's here so there's a sound right there and right there so i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to find this right now so i'm going to place it right here and i'm going to go over the other side of the room and see how well it works all right guys so now i'm over the other side of the room i'm going to hit find and let's see if it works so i'm 25 feet away i'm going to start walking start walking i'm now 24 feet 20 feet away still walking still walking 16 feet um 13 feet 10 feet 10 feet and now it's telling me to go to my right and it's telling me to go to my left and go straight ahead straight ahead straight ahead turn to my right a bit and it should be here so there it is if you don't see it you can just go ahead and hit that and you can see oh wait there's my ear tag nice now the way this works when your ear tags is glass it use other iphone around the area so if there's iphones around the area it just ping those iphones and tell you exactly where the ear tag is now this feature can sounds really scary so if you want to turn it off you have to go to settings um go to your profile right there go to find my and then go to find my iphone and you see find my network so basically it's saying you're participating in the find my network lets you locate this iphone even when it's offline in power reverse mode and also power off so you can just turn that off and once you turn that off you won't be participating in the network anymore so 
Apple won't know you're tracking or your phone won't be using as a ping tower or something like that. So you'll be all set once you turn this off. All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to update your ear tag right here. So it is an automatic process, which is kind of tricky. So I'm going to walk you guys through it. So first thing first, swipe down, make sure your Bluetooth is connected, your Wi-Fi is connected or your data network is connected. So next thing you're going to want to go to Wikipedia and make sure to see what's the current firmware so right here you can see it's 1.0.301 and check what firmware you're on and to do that you just simply tap here and you should see the firmware so you can see i'm not on the latest firmware so i have to update it so the next thing you want to make sure is also make sure that your phone is on the latest version of ios so to do that just type in about so type in about in settings and then go to software update and you should see if you need to update your phone. So right there, you see my phone needs to be updated. So it won't, this air tag won't update until I update my phone. So your phone has to be on the latest version of iOS. So I'm going to update that right now and get back to you guys. All right, guys so now my phone is up to date so what you want to do is actually place your phone down like that and take the ear tags and place it right up against it like that so now you're going to make this stay for around 20 to 30 minutes for it to update automatically but you can also go ahead and check the find my app every now and then and check to make sure that the software is up to date so now it's currently on the older version still so i'm gonna check back in around 20 minutes or so guys kind of wish apple made this so you can actually click update and it update instantly more than doing it in the background i'm pretty sure it's because i'm doing a video is taking this long but i'm pretty sure every day like an everyday person this would just automatically update and you wouldn't even know that it was updated just like your ear pods the bet you didn't know that your ear pods update Yes, your AirPods update throughout the day when your AirPods is close to your phone or is in close range or close proximity. So, yeah. So, I guess we just have to wait the 20 or 30 minutes. I'm pretty sure once I take my eye off it, it will automatically update right away. All right, guys. So, there you see we're on the latest version now. I literally just connected it to my key and when I went back, it was like, on the latest version i didn't see anything i didn't see get any notification or anything like that so it just automatically updated to the latest version so right now you should be all set now the air tag is water resistant but not water resistant enough for you to go deep diving with the air tag in your pocket or on your item the air tag is only water resistant enough to withstand splashes and if it drop in a puddle of water also, one thing that most people are getting wrong is that they believe that this is a theft prevention device. No, it's not. The purpose of the ear tag is to help you find misplaced items easily. Also, if you are already an Apple fanboy, you will love this device because it fits perfectly inside the Apple ecosystem. Because of Apple ecosystem is so good, it makes the ear tag the best tracking device out there at the moment, especially in North America. I say this is the best because the way the Apple AirTag work is that it uses other Apple devices to ping its location and you know Apple is really common in North America. Because of this advantage, Apple makes other tracking devices look like they are not even trying to be a tracking device. If you ever find an ear tag on you that's not yours, the first thing you should do is take out the battery and you can do this by twisting the back of the ear tag. The next thing you should do is bring it to a police station near you so the police can work with Apple to locate exactly who is tracking you. Ever since the ear tags have been released, there have been so many accessories for the ear tag. Accessories such as key ring, ear tag case for your ear pods, ear tag breaklets to track your kids and loved ones, ear tags to attach to your remote and even an ear tag for your dog tag. If I'm being honest, 
There's no way you can use an AirTag without one of these accessories. Using an AirTag by itself is kind of useless, especially if the item you're trying to track is moving up and down all over the place. If it's like just stationary, then yeah, it could work, but you'll definitely need an accessory to attach to that AirTag. If you're planning on getting an accessory for your AirTags and you are on a tight budget, then here's a tip. Don't buy the accessories that Apple is selling. And no, they are not bad, but they are very overpriced, especially when you compare to a third party accessory, which is way cheaper and get the job done the same way. Some of the best third party accessories for the AirTag, you can find them from Spigen, Belkin, Dbrand, Caseology, Nomad and Moment. All of those brands are really good brands which have been making phone case for many years so they know exactly what they're doing. For me, I pick up a bluish keyring case that was made from a brand called Insignia which is basically a Best Buy brand. So far the keyring is getting the work done perfectly and I only got it for $10 at Best Buy. My experience with the AirTag has been good so far. The reason why I waited so long to get myself an AirTag was because 1. Not too sure if I wanted to walk around with a tracker and two, I didn't see how beneficial it would be to me. Over the past year, I've been thinking really deep to get one and I realized that I'm already carrying around a tracker with me, which is my phone. And I have a valuable item which I don't want to go missing. That item for me was my keys and to replace my keys if they're missing would cost me anywhere from $50 to $500. So I look at the AirTag as a kind of an insurance for my keys. I say that because I might never need to use the AirTag, but it's better to need it and have it than need it and don't have it. Sounds like a car insurance, right? Ever since I got the AirTags, I don't have to search for my keys if I can't find them. I can simply track it to with my Find My app on my phone or give it a chime so I can hear where it is. This came in really handy especially when I went to the port the other day and my keys fell out of my pockets. For a second I was panicking but then I remember I had my ear tags attached to my keys so I track it down easily. It is one of those things that you won't know is useful until you need to use it. For most people I'm pretty sure that they might not have the need to use an ear tag because they won't miss stuff that often and if they do miss their stuff they don't mind spending 15 minutes searching for it or don't mind spending a lot of money to replace the item. But for some people who don't have the time to search for their missing item they can simply search for it on their phone using the find my app. This item can be whatever you want it to be. Whether it be that expensive camera or drone that you spend months saving up for or simply your TV remote in your living room. Time is money and if $29 can save you from wasting time to search for an item or even worse save you from replacing that item then why not just get yourself an ear tag for $29. That will potentially save you time and money. If I'm being honest, I'm not that too worried about someone using an ear tag to follow me. And I don't know if that's because I don't have any friends, but that's just my opinion. What I'm most worried about is if, if my keys are get lost in the wrong place and the wrong time, will my ear tag be useful? Because we have to admit it, we don't live in a perfect world where everybody who finds a keys with an ear tag will contact you and give you back. I can't speak for everybody, so let me know in the comment section what are your most concerned about having a ear tag. I hope after watching this video, you're able to use your ear tag or have a better understanding of what an ear tag is. Comment an apple emoji with the word tag in the comment section so that I know that you made it this far in the video. If you want to see my iPhone and laptop home screen setup then check this video out. Peace.